What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very interesting pair of football boots for you guys today. It is the Allure version two in the Nero colorway or the black colorway. Now this is a boot that is from the UK, but made in Italy. It is a very, very small brand. And I'm really excited to get a sense of what these boots are like, how they compare with other boots on the market in that similar all leather category and really find out what Allure is all about. So without further ado, let's hop into the unboxing in the video, you get a really nice, quite large, um, open kind of top style box with the Allure logo here. You got their version two, which is obviously their second version of this football boot. Allure, uh, that's gonna, sh all those who speak Italian, let me know. Is it Calcio or Calcio? Allure.com. So you can find them there, made in Italy, and then you can find them on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all or X now, I guess, all that stuff. And then there you go. So let's get these unboxed and we'll go from there. Boom. Nice unboxing experience. Very nice from the owner. Dear Noah, thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the boots. Very nice. And then there's a picture of the boots themselves. Love that. All right, so in the box, you get a couple different things. This is actually quite a nice unboxing experience. You get their proprietary leather cream, so ap apply generously before first use, made in Italy, 50 mil. So we'll actually, maybe I'll open these up just to see, hold on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there you go. There we go, try to, oh, nice, there you go. So a little leather cream action there, very nice, really nice touch, especially for the all leather football boots. I find that um, for those looking for a pair of boots, oh, well, that's all right. Put them to the side, I'll deal with that later. You get a pair of their grip socks as well, which I'll throw to the side quick. And then you have their boot bag here, which I'll open up in just a sec and then a little shoehorn. Everything has the Allure logo in it, which is really nice. It's a very, very premium touch, means that obviously attention to detail is there, which is great. Um, this is like a kind of a canvasy bag. Uh, I would say it's definitely nicer than some of the Nike bags that you get, like some of those more synthetic ones. This very much is like a canvas drawstring bag, which is really cool. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's take the boots out of the bag. There you go. All right, so let's get these out of the box. Very nice, very premium feeling, nice leather. Also cool touch, they come with the little shoe, not shoe stretchers, but the shoe stays. It like holds the shape of the boot, which is really nice. That's a really nice touch in here. We'll take those out in just a minute. But there you go. The Allure version two in narrow or black. They also come in a white model as well. I'm going to throw all this stuff uh, down out of the way for you guys, and we'll get into it with the Allure version two. Very, very nice, very sleek. It's very, it's similar to an Adler boot, similar to a Pantofol Adoro boot, similar to, hmm, what else is on that list? I guess a Mizuno boot in that sense, like just kind of simple all leather, the Morelia two, of course, but let's get these down here. And we'll talk about the tech specs, which there aren't that many, uh, particularly because this is just such a simple pair of football boots. But I'm gonna get these out of the box. So as I said before, it comes with these little kind of shoe stays. It basically keeps the shape of your boot. Um, and there you go, nice and soft, premium K leather. Um, so these are obviously made fully of K leather. It's a standard U throat tongue, fully K leather upper, internal heel counter, and then stitched on sole plate. You've got some nice stitching here, plus the little rivets that come in the toe box area and then on the heel for a little bit of extra durability as well. These are obviously all black. So everything you get uh, on the boot, including the laces is just a jet black material. You've got the suede liner, which is really nice as well. And then you've got some uh, insoles, which are uh, made in Portugal. Now that what's special about these insoles as you can see, they're a little bit on the thicker side, especially here in the heel area and then here in this midfoot area. 
You've got a nice little kind of ribbing structure pattern, so you're going to get probably a little bit of extra um, padding in your heel and a little bit of arch support there in the middle, which is a nice feature. You've got, of course, the Allure version 2 logoing as well. And we will go from there. Let's do, let's put this back in here. Make sure that that all stays ready for trying on. I'm actually really interested by these football boots, um, particularly because the all leather nature of a pair of boots like this usually means they're going to be really, really comfortable straight out of the box. And of course, that's something that I really enjoy playing and training in a boot that's going to be really, really super comfortable as well. Um, this is a P-back sole plate, so you do have a nice amount of, a decent amount of rigidity here. It's probably a little bit less rigid than what you get straight out of the box from a um, Adler product, particularly because those Adler products have the um, the carbon on the inside or the, uh, what, am, what am I trying to, what am I trying to think of? I'm totally, the uh, Carvo insert. I was like, Carvo, it's right, right, it's right on the tip of my tongue. The Carvo insert. So you do have that Carvo insert on the inside of uh, the Adler boots, but on something like this, it's going to be probably a little bit more stiff or about on par with some of the other boot manufacturers on the market. A lot of the Made in Italy stuff, some of the older Diodora boots, some of the Pantofolo Doro, uh, and then there's a lot of other like little, really small micro brands as well. So there's not much else to discuss about these football boots. I like the fact that there is a pretty deep lacing system, quite a lot of lace holes here, which makes it, I guess, uh, hopefully very, very available for all sorts of foot shapes. From a weight perspective, they're, I would say, a little bit heavier than the normal pair of football boots. They're definitely heavier than a Morelia 2, definitely heavier than a Yadagarashu, um, but that substance probably comes from the sole plate here as well as some of the features on between the uh, P-back sole plate and the insole as well. So it does have a little bit of weight to it. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy. It's not, I, I don't think it's as heavy as a Copa Mundial. Um, but again, that's kind of what you expect from a boot like this. And if you're on the market for a all leather football boot, that's going to be super, super comfortable, really nice anatomical shape. It's going to mold your foot, all that stuff. In my opinion, you don't really worry about weight that much. And in fact, for me in general, I don't really care about weight at all. If it's a really heavy boot, sure, I'll notice it. But at the end of the day, what's comfortable is comfortable. And that's really all that matters. So for me, that's kind of it from a tech features perspective. It's an all leather football boot, really simple stud pattern and sole plate and a suede heel liner, which is always a good recipe. We'll see obviously if that actually, you know, makes for a very comfortable upper and heel experience. So without further ado, I think we're going to spend a little more time outside uh, on the pitch and we will go from there. All right, fam. Now we're out here in the backyard. Moment of truth for the Allure Nero version two. There is a little sticker I'm going to take off, actually, on the bottom, and then we're going to get straight into it. Now, I am obviously skeptical of all new football boot brands, and in fact, pretty much all football boot brands in general, because it just is what it is. Um, but here we go. So here are the boots. They are all black, which is kind of sick, actually. I like all black leather boots. They feel really nice. As you can see, very, very soft, very premium feeling. I like the fact that they have the suede in the heel liner as well. So without further ado, guys, moment of truth. Uh, really quickly, I am wearing a pair of Wee Foot Grip Socks. You can find these on um, the link down in the description box below. You can get a 20% discount code with code NOAA20 or just click the link and then it'll add 20% automatically when you go to checkout. Thank you for helping support the channel. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, pretty nice. Dang. Yeah, those are comfy. Those are very comfy. All right, let's lace them up, and then I want to do a little bit. I got to, like, walk around in them and kind of see what they feel like. Obviously, we'll be doing a play test and everything as well. Um but yeah, first impressions are pretty comfy, pretty comfy straight out of the box. Um, one thing I am noticing right away that I think could be uh, a little bit annoying is that they don't have a um, runner's knot right here. I might fix that and just 
drill my own hole in that area. Um, but that's, you know, again, with a boot like this that is completely K leather and is going to stretch quite a bit, especially through the midfoot and through the toe box area, you're really going to want a, um, you're really going to want a runner's knot. So that would be already, I think, a thing that is really important. Put a runner's knot there, and that way, because you have a tongue that actually extends up a little bit higher than kind of a, a normal tongue would, uh, you have the real estate so that when you do do the runner's knot, it's going to come up a little bit higher, so you'll tie the knot there, but it's not like you're tying the knot up against your ankle or anything. So, um, yeah, so, but there you go. Yeah, right on. Okay. So one thing I'm noticing really quick is the heel area has basically zero padding. So there's no like kind of plushness. And I would say that the where the internal heel counter is, so you can see where the stitch is right there. And then the internal heel counter kind of stops right there. And because there's no padding, uh, there, I mean, there's a little bit of padding, but the, because there's not a lot of robustness in the padding of the heel area, it is a little bit kind of looser fitting, if you will. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem when I start playing in them, we'll have to see. Um, but overall, they are, I mean, the midfoot and the forefoot area are really comfortable. That's like, it's definitely, you know, no doubt that they're a very comfortable pair of football boots straight out of the box. Um, half a size down works perfectly for me. My toes come right up to the end and that's perfect for a leather boot because I know they'll stretch and I know they'll be able to, uh, you know, accommodate my feet after probably three minutes of break in time. I mean, these are like pretty much already molded to my foot, which is definitely telling. Now, one of the things that I'm already seeing, and this is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so if I'm just gonna stand like this, there is a massive, look at that, massive gap on the outside right there. That is really, that's like a pet peeve of mine. And it only happens on, it happens a little bit on the left, but way more on the right. That is, to be fair, my right foot is on the ankle area is like slightly differently shaped. Um, but that to me is like, that's why you need right there. Um, that's why you need the runner's knot because then you can pull this material flush with your foot. So for me, that is just, I don't know. It's a pet peeve thing. Is it going to change performance? Who knows? Um, sole plate feels pretty neutral and I do like that the sole plate is all conical studs. There's nothing necessarily special about the stud pattern. Um, it's very, very similar to the Morelia 2. It's very similar to really any of the Pantafola Dora boots, any of the old kind of classic uh, Brazil elites from Diadora, any of the, uh, I said Pantafola Dora already, what are, what am I thinking, Adler. It's very similar to those. Um, these obviously being a very small batch made in Italy football boot as well. So there's a full look at the boots. I mean, obviously with a black kit, blackout boots are gonna look class no matter what. Blackout leather boots also just have like a, they're, they're a very special look because I think they're iconic, they're classic, and they really just make, you know, you basically do a blackout of any all leather football boot and it's gonna look sick. So for me, this is a, as far as a design goes, no problems, no problems at all. Um, again, as far as comfort goes, very comfortable. If I close my eyes, they feel really, really nice. I do like the fact that they've added suede to the heel liner, that obviously helps. Um, that being said, as I said before, one of the things that I am concerned about is just the, like how thin the heel area is and whether it's gonna have enough robustness to kind of hold my Achilles in place and my heel in place as I'm doing any sort of, you know, ladder movement or any sort of back and forth. We'll see, I'm gonna do a play test in them. No, pro like, don't worry about it. They're very, very comfortable. So I have no problem like really getting into them. Um, and they are very comfortable. So touch on the ball, I imagine is gonna be pretty, yeah. Yeah, really nice. The leather quality is really good. Um, we'll see kind of after some play time how it holds up compared to some of the other competitors on the market. But no, nah, these are these are very comfortable. Touch on the ball feels really consistent, feels really nice, and uh, no complaints there. So yeah, no no doubt these are no doubt these are very comfortable. Would I recommend buying these over something else like an Adler or Mizuno boot? I don't know. I can't answer that yet. We will be answering that in the 
competition version of the one month review. So stay tuned for that. We'll do a whole series on this particular model, um, particularly because it's a smaller brand. And I think it's, you know, it's always good to stress test boots that are new into the market to see if they actually hold up to the Adlers, the Mizunos, the Diodoras, the, you know, the Pantafoladoras, even though I haven't had a Pantafoladora boot on my channel in a really long time, or if at all, I think. I don't think I've ever had one on. I do have a pair, but they're like a custom one. Anyway, long story short. Um, so the Allure version two, should you buy them? As far as just like, just objective comfort goes, yeah. I mean, I think they're really comfy. If you're on the market for a really small batch brand that uh, is a very comfortable football boot, go half a size down for sure, in my opinion. Um, that would absolutely be the best way to get them. You can always DM them on Instagram too to kind of talk about sizing and see what you want. But yeah, I mean, as far as as far as how they go, I have really no complaints about them other than that kind of issue around the ankle and the fact that they don't have a runner's loop. I think that's such an, e like just poke another hole in the upper. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably do like the knife into the chopstick vibe. <laughs> that's usually, or like a screwdriver or something. Um, make a extra lace hole for these and then just full send some training sessions and, and get after it. So hope you guys enjoyed that vi uh, video of the Allure Narrow version two. They do come in all black and all white, so you can kind of pick which ones you want. I will definitely be doing some follow-up thoughts on these as well moving forward. Um, yeah, hit that like button if you got value from this. Uh, what am I trying to say? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My brain's all over the place. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.